There's something special about Tullymore Forest in County Down. I've loved this place since my parents first took me here camping in the 80s. Saying that though, I've never quite experienced it like I did today. Why don't you join me for a quiet walk in the snow and find out why this day cost me a lot more than I expected. I can't believe it. I'm literally down here taking some fantastic footage of the, the river and the snow. And I left my poles right beside the path and I came up and somebody's lifted them. I can't believe it. I was literally like right there and somebody half is my trekking pole. Unbelievable. Anyway, hopefully, maybe somebody thought they were doing a good deed and they'll, they'll hand them in somewhere. But uh, yeah, can't believe it. walking along the track here towards Trassy Car Park and um, it's absolutely fantastic. Look at this here. Oh, look at this tree here. I think the snow has been a bit too much for it last night. Glad I wasn't under that one walk when I was walking past. Anyway, right, I'm mosey on. guys that's us up the trassy track a bit hey, um, it's an absolutely amazing out here look at that snow and the sunshine just beating off it and it's fantastic hey, um, going to head on up to the herds gap here hopefully we'll, if it's not too bad after that we'll, we can get to the top of Berna that's definitely one of my bucket list things to do get to the top of Berna in the snow so fingers crossed catch you on up the trail a bit hey guys just uh this is this is horrendous. Every like two minutes, I just want to stop and take photographs and videos and stuff. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere. Anyway, let's see. Just there we are. We're still on the trassy track, and um, look at this spellic. We see spellic. It looks like something. Looks like K2 or the Eiger or something like that. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the river. Wow, amazing. Anyway, let's push on. See you soon. Well, we're just at the wee junction here where you would either go off. Up there, up the goat's track, or or on up the straight up the, the front here. I uh, just bumped in this fella um, who kindly um, was here before me and, and created all these tracks. I, uh, if those tracks weren't there, this would be horrendous in the legs, really would. So, whoever that was, thanks, mate. <laughs> um, right, gonna crack on, get up the herd's gap here. Chat soon. So even with someone else breaking the trail, progress was slow. I trudged on towards the wall, but I started to realise at this point I wasn't going to make it to the top of Berna in time. I knew there would be great views from the saddle, so I settled on making it there, where I could get a spot of lunch with a new stove and hopefully get the drone up as well.
Well, folks, that's me heading back down. What a day. Absolutely glorious. Still fantastic. Sun's just setting over there to the west. Absolutely gorgeous. But, um, yeah, didn't really go to plan. Um, there's people behind me. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, yeah, I'd planned to do a bit of a chat and stuff up at the top, hers gap or something, but goodness sake, it was everybody and their granny was up today. <laughs> Every time I went to go and do something, somebody else popped their head over the wall. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, and then I tried to get the drone up. Every time I put the drone up, there's a police helicopter. Um, done a, like, buzz me. So I've uh, done a big flyby, so uh, yeah, I didn't get much drone footage either. Um, but anyway, listen, it was great just to be out and get up here. Um, so, yeah, this will probably be the last video now. Um, I'll get down here, back to the car, and I want to get home before it gets dark, and that, that uh, ice starts to form on the roads again, especially with the, the, the gripping men being on strike. But, uh, I right, so... Listen, if you made it this far, thanks for thanks for watching guys and um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. All the best. Bye.